G'day One Ball Flyer Squad, welcome back to another Thursday trip report. I'm at Bangkok Southern Boom and today I'm flying Singapore Airlines Economy Class A350 to Singapore. Um, I'm here for transit so I'm going to skip the check-in part. Now let's jump straight to the Tireways Lounge. So I just got off a Gulf airplane from Bahrain. Now the Gulf employee is guiding me to the security, the transfer desk for Singapore Airlines and then eventually the Thai Airways Royal Silk Lounge at Concourse E. Today I have access with my Starlines Gold status. So this is quite a small lounge and it turned out that most people here later boarded the same plane to Singapore. Here at the buffet there's a small selection of Western and Thai food option. They also offer Thai 2 minutes noodle if you're interested. Drink selection wise, you have plenty of Thai beer options and other non-alcoholic cold beverages. A small selection of spirits are also available. This Royal Silk Lounge is basically a long corridor. You have very limited choice of sitting options, they're all the same, just a sofa. It's not a lounge that I would go to the airport early for. There are two shower rooms here but unfortunately both were occupied at the time so I couldn't show you what it's like. The bathroom is pretty nice and the lighting is good as well. So fat. I had some food before landing into Bangkok and I know I'm going to eat more later on a flight to Singapore so I'm just going to have some watermelon and then head to my gate. One thing that I really like about Bangkok Airport is the abundance of natural lights and how spacious it is. So that's my aircraft today, a 5 year old Singapore Airlines Airbus A350-900, 9 Victor, Sierra Mike Juliet. It's a long haul configured A350. Thank you. So originally I was assigned to an aisle seat in economy class. At check-in, the agent couldn't relocate me to a window seat. I tried my luck again at the boarding gate and the agent there was able to upgrade me to premium economy, a window seat as well. Thank you so oh, much yeah, again. Sure. <laughs> Make my day. You can be luck. You're the last seats that we have. Uh. <laughs> So between Bangkok and Singapore, Singapore Airlines doesn't sell their premium economy seats. So basically they'll upgrade their frequent flies to premium economy free of charge, but the service and the food still the same as economy. In a cart just now you were able to grab a travel kit with your face mask and stuff, and also an earphone if you're travelling in economy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I loved it when the cabin crew said welcome back. You know the crew are going to be nice if they say that. So now walking past business and here's our premium economy, my seat 32A. Singapore Airlines A350 premium economy is laid out in a 242 configuration. According to Seat Guru, every seat is about 19 inches wide and your leg room or seat pitch is about 38 inches. Ready for you on your seat is a blanket and a pillow. In your seat pocket you'll find a noise cancelling headphone. And I'll now quickly go through the seat features with you. So every seat comes with a silver cookhook. On the other side you have a USB port. Your TV is adjustable and very large and touchscreen. Here you've got a pouch, another seat pocket, You've got bottle holders there, but you can't use that during takeoff and landing. Power sockets down there, one for each person. TV remote, if you don't want to reach your arm for the TV. And every premium seat comes with a soft, adjustable headrest. There's also a reading light, and that's better than the overhead one because you can adjust the position. Between your neighbour and your armrest, you'll find another USB port and your headphone jack. Uh, on behalf of Singapore Airlines, I'd like to welcome all of you on board flight uh, 707 bound for Singapore. With me in the flight deck today, Senior First Officer Lo Chun Mei. And in charge of the cabin is your input manager, Ms. Evelyn Lee. And nevertheless, I recommend you keep your single security fastened whenever you are seated. 
Currently all cabin doors are closed. Uh, once we obtain our air traffic clearance, we will be pushing back very shortly. Senior First Officer Lu will be coming back to you with the latest weather updates as well as a more accurate arrival time into Singapore. And with that, uh, on behalf of everyone, I'd like to thank you for choosing to fly with us today. To fasten, bring the two ends of the seat belt together until you hear a click. Tighten it by pulling on the strap. If your device drops into the gap between the seats, refrain from adjusting the seat and ask the cabin crew for assistance. It's prohibited throughout the aircraft, including the laboratories. On behalf of Singapore Airlines, we hope you have a great time on board as well as in Singapore or anywhere else in the world we take you. This flight and this video today is sponsored by one of my Patreon members. You know who you are and thank you so much. There are so many small ways that you can help me to fund my flights. As simple as watching my videos and clicking the subscribe buttons, you're telling that YouTube you like my videos and they'll recommend more people to watch it. Fasten your seatbelt and drop your window shades. So here's the travel kit that you could have grabbed at the boarding gate. It consists of two hand wipes, one service wipe and a face mask. Singapore Airlines entertainment system is pretty impressive. You have many movies to choose from. And if you're a Singapore Airlines Chris Flyer Frequent Fly member, you can log in and continue what you left off from your last flight. The Southeast Asia region this week is really rough, lots of thunderstorms and heavy rains. The flight was really bumpy until we reached our cruising altitude. So now I'm gonna show you the leg rest and your foot rest. Leg rest here and then foot rest here. I couldn't show you the recline but it was really comfortable and I found this to be a very ergonomic chair. It was almost like a cradle as you recline. Now it's time for the meal service so let's take out the tray table from your armrest.
so for today I opted for the chicken rice option. Looks really good, doesn't it? So in November 2021, on any flights under 4 hours, Singapore Lines is just going to serve you a meal box and a small dessert in economy. And instead of metal, you now get wooden colouring. I'm so glad they included the chicken skin, I can't wait to taste it. Okay, it's really hot, but also really juicy and tender. My Singapore sling came back in 5 minutes. Did you know how Singapore sling was invented? It was invented in 1915 at the beautiful Raffles Hotel in Singapore so that female can pretend that they're drinking juice in public. At that time, females drinking alcohol in public were seemed inappropriate. So this cake is a tiramisu. Absolutely delicious as well. Can't wait to try this Singapore sling. It's a drink that I always get on board Singapore Airlines economy. Despite almost a completely full flight today, 100% full in premium, I was impressed by how fast and efficient the service was. Some passengers were pressing the bell buttons for more drinks and it was all delivered within 2 minutes. We got our meal in exactly half an hour after takeoff and after another 14 minutes all the trays were gone. Can someone tell me what that movie is? It looks funny. So now I'm in one of the lavatories in economy class. You've got great amenities like toothbrush and toothpaste, paper cups if you want to brush your teeth, AC, then the toilet itself, and coat hook. As soon as I got back to my seat, we hit some turbulence so the seatbelt sign was switched on. Ooh, somebody's watching a Hong Kong movie. Hong Kong movies are always about the police, lots of shooting and fighting. So for the entry requirement for Singapore now, it's much easier than November last year. VTL no longer exists, don't know what that is. You only need to be vaccinated and be able to show a negative test result at check-in. So I got COVID two weeks ago, so I was exempted for the COVID test. I just needed to show my positive test result from the past 7 to 90 days. You will also need to do an arrival form online before your flight. And now we're going to start descending into Singapore Changi, so let's quickly conclude this trip report with Singapore Airlines right here, right now. So this has nothing much to do with Singapore Airlines, but it was so nice that the Gulf Air employee brought me all the way to security, waited for me at the transfer desk at Singapore Airlines, and then walked me to the Thai lounge. The Thai lounge, a bit underwhelming, it's definitely an embarrassing lounge for Thai Airways, considering how Suvina Boom is their home base. Now Singapore Airlines does have their own lounge at Bangkok Airport but unfortunately it's still closed due to Covid. The only overseas airports where the Silver Chris lounges have reopened are in Australia and London Heathrow. Moving on to the boarding gate, the agent was so friendly and he really tried his best to move me to a window seat and it happened to be premium economy. He made several phone calls about it as well so I really appreciate what he did. 
Once on board the aircraft, we received a warm welcome from the cabin crew. One of the senior crew said, welcome back, and I loved that so much. Once I sat down at my seat 32A, I found the seat to be relatively comfortable. I also liked how small the cabin was. The recline and the footrest were nice. It really felt like a cradle and ergonomic. However, with 38 inches of leg room, when you recline, the seat moves forward and your leg room becomes really limited. I forgot to take a video or a photo for it, but when I reclined, my knees were touching the seat pocket in front of me. And even though the seats were supposed to be a lot wider than premium economy, I found this to be one of the narrower premium economy products out there because the armrests were really thick and wide and you end up with only 19 inches of your sit width. On Cathay Pacific A350, the same layout, 242, and you get an extra inch. And one thing I absolutely dislike about this seat is the entertainment box. It isn't that large or disruptive, but it's still annoying that they have it there. Overall, I found this to be a relatively comfortable seat. I particularly like that recline, it's just that the leg room was a bit limited once you reclined and the entertainment box. Next, I want to talk about the meal service. The cabin crew were absolutely lovely. The service was quick and efficient. And from my observation, Singapore Airlines passengers tend to be more demanding and have more expectations. So for example, in my cabin throughout the service, quite a number of passengers were pressing the call bell button to request more drinks. The cabin crew were polite and delivered to the passengers what they wanted in split seconds with a smile that you can see underneath their mask. The chicken rice though was really, really hot. I could tell that from two ways. One, the box was really hot, and two, the neighbour had a big first bite and then he was frantically covering his mouth and that was quite funny. But yeah, the whole thing, so the chicken rice and the tiramisu cake were both really delicious and I loved it so much. Along with the Singapore sling, it was a perfect meal. Portion wise, it looked small but I thought it was good enough. So overall, I really did enjoy this short two hour flight from Bangkok. Service excellent as usual. However, I wouldn't rate their premium economy seat to be the best in the world. Their economy class, on the other hand, really, really good and definitely one of the best I've tried. Thank you so much for watching and please let me know what you think about the premium economy seat on Singapore Airlines in the comment down below. For your information, if you were to fly Singapore Airlines Bangkok to Singapore return, you're looking to pay about $250 return. And upgrading to premium economy class depends on the aircraft type and your status perhaps. Thanks again for watching this trip report. Please subscribe and leave a like, comment if you wish, enjoy the landing and then the vlog following. So I'm craving for some junk food, so we're going to go to Shake Shack. So in Singapore, you no longer have to wear those outdoor, but most people like this boy are still wearing it. So I'm staying at the Hilton Garden Inn in the Little India area. I'm going to try testing out doing hotel reviews and I hope that you're going to like it. I think I'm going to post my first one within the month. So we're going to take the train to Bayfront near the what? 
Marina Bay Sands for a check shot. Might be Chinese, but now you see. Oh, I didn't announce it. Oh, why did you do it? Gardens by the bay. Another. Maybe white tourists. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, god. Marina Bay Sands. Sorry I had to pause the music, I don't want to get a copyright strike. Six sat with a view. How many? Two. It's like filming the IFE. Oh, so many movies to choose from. Oh, here's the flight map. <laughs> I want to be healthy, so I added lettuce and onion. Thank you so much for watching the trip report and the vlog, and I'll see you next week. Bye bye. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Boston. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and your cabin baggage stowed until the seatbelt sign has been turned off.